Our project, How Not to Get Hit by a Self-Driving Car, is a street-based game that challenges the public to avoid being detected in the eye of an AI. So what we have planned is a space which is decorated using different forms of street furniture, traffic equipment such as cones and other sort of barriers. We'll have a start button and a start line. From there, you'll be able to see the goal button on the other side. There'll also be a huge LED truck which will be displaying the playing field at all times so players will be able to see themselves. And basically, players will push the start button and the experience will begin. And they'll essentially just need to try to get to the goal without being detected by the AI. So they must disguise themselves or run and hide and find any way to trick the AI to hit that goal button. We want to make people understand like what are the potential usage of this AI technologies and what are its like blind spots, what are its downsides, so that they know it's the thing that's not like super smart, but it's actually the thing that can make errors, that can make mistakes, that is biased often. I guess the sort of utopian vision of self-driving cars everywhere, no one actually drives by themselves as humans, is that things will be safer because there's obviously a lot of road accidents out there. Right now, if that vision were to just be deployed, that would not be the case because these systems are just not that great at detecting humans. And that's something that we really want to explore with our project as well. We want to show how you sort of disguise yourself from the computer vision system. We want to bring to light these edge cases of how, like, what can circumvent the computer vision and not be detected as a human. So people can be using props and be covering their face, which in the context of the game is going to be, you know, a winning strategy. But, you know, in reality, it reflects how if these self-driving car systems are everywhere, there could be children on the street who are dressed up. It could be someone carrying a box. It could be people in wheelchairs, all these different use cases which are just so, they're so vast and they're so unpredictable and this, this sort of data is so hard to catch and predict. So we really hope that our experience will also allow these self-driving car systems to become uh, smarter and safer. One of the problems with data collections for AI and self-driving car is that it's being done in specific regions around the world, let's say like San Francisco, where it's not really diverse. It's just a very, very like minor representative of what the world looks like. So we we want to do the same game but on like the bustling streets of Mumbai or like a really crowded like streets in Tokyo, see what kind of data it will be generated, what kind of play that will result in. So we want to do a world tour from our game.